Hi, welcome to PySchool Academy, India's first smart gate coaching institute, myself Shekhar. In this lecture, I'll discuss about DI by DT rating and its necessity in SER specifications. Most of the students knows that there will be hotspots created if DI by DT is more. But most of them are not aware the reason why and how they are created. So in this video, I'll explain about why and how they are created. Okay, I mean with the increase of DA by DT, how these hotspots are created actually. Okay, I'll explain that in this lecture. You can take our full courses, links are given in the description, you can check those links for the full length courses. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you will never miss a video from Pi Square. Now coming to the topic. In general, we are aware of the current rating, general rating, current rating. It is a maximum withstand capability of the device. Suppose this device, this device can withstand, it has a current rating, rated current of suppose 120 ampere. Let me just take that. Means if the current flowing through the device is more than 120 ampere, if current flowing through that is more than 120 amperes, heat generated of course, for every, you know, for every current, for maybe 80 amperes also, there will be heat generated. But that heat, it can withstand, the device can withstand that much heat generation. And if it is 120 amperes also, still it can withstand that heat generation. But if it is more than 120 amperes, then the heat generated by this, it cannot withstand. So heat generated will be more and it will be damaged. Any damage causes to any electrical appliance just because of heat. Keep this point noted. Any damage in electrical appliance just because of heat. Maybe over voltage you will say, over current you will say, it's all related to heat. Because of the heat only damage will happen. Increase in voltage, increase in current, all this will lead to increase of the heat, then it will be damaged. Though, suppose, I mean to say here, I can still operate, though it rated current is 120 ampere, if I want to operate at 140 ampere, still you can do it by providing perfect cooling system. You enhance the cooling system, you take out the heat generated instantly, then still you can operate at this point. But taking out that heat and inside these junctions, it's not that easy. But if you can do that, yes, you can operate at any current, any current you can operate if you can take out that heat perfectly, which is not possible, that's why they will burn. Okay. Anyways, rated current means above this current, if above 120 amperes is flowing through the device, then heat will be more, that heat will damage us. That's what about the rated current. I think you are clear with this. Yeah, maximum withstand capability of this device, you can say. More than that, if current is flowing, it will be damaged. It's clear because understanding this is very important to understand DI by DT rating. Okay, understanding the rated current is very important to understand DI by DT rating. Now suppose current right now flowing is, uh, you know, 60 amperes. Current, its rated current is 120 amperes, but current flowing in the device is 60 amperes there is a chance that this will be damaged. I am repeating, its rated current is 120 amperes, current flowing is 60 amperes, let's take 30 ampere, still there is a chance that this will be damaged. Yes, yeah, still there is a chance that this will be damaged. Why? Why it will be damaged? Let me just draw the time versus current curve. Time versus current curve. So this 30 ampere is suddenly rising like this, 
suddenly rising like this. Within very short time, it is rising like this, 30 amperes. That's why it is getting damaged. Why? Suddenly rising, it can withstand 120 amperes, but how come just for 30 amperes, why it is getting damaged? To understand that, that's what the actual concept of this lecture. To understand that, let me divide this structure. I'm dividing this entire structure into different structures. See here, I'm breaking into different parts. Okay. So now let me treat each one as one thyristor. See, these four layers, one thyristor, these four layers, one thyristor. So everything is one thyristor. All are connected in parallel. I'm assuming, I'm treating like that. I'm treating it like that. Now, now see, gate, the moment gate is, gate current started flowing, the moment gate current started flowing, the moment gate current started flowing, assume that anode current is 30 amperes. I triggered, I had given this triggering pulse, then 30 amperes is flowing, 30 amperes is much less than 120. Now see what will happen. Current will, this entire current will start flowing through this, this part. Because gate is at one side, this thyristor, this, this gate current will trigger this part of thyristor. So current will be crowded and it will try to flow through this. Entire current is flowing through this, through this path. Okay. And now this, this some part of this current, some part of this current will act as a gate triggering current for this thyristor. A small current will be triggering this thyristor. So now this will be triggered. So now this 30 ampere is flowing 15 here, 15 here. Now after just, you know, it all happens in microsecond. It all happens in microsecond. Now this will be triggering the next thyristor. So this will be start conducting. So this is 10, 10 and 10. And here, so this will now 30 by 4, 30 by 4, 30 by 4 will be in each 30 by 4 will be there. That will be triggering this. A small amount, small part of the current will be triggering this. Current will be flowing, a small part will be triggered in this, current will be flowing in this. This is how current spread, this is called as current spread. This is how current spread across this thyristor. This is a process how current is spreading from one end to another end slowly. Slowly means not it will take one second or one microsecond, even much less in terms of microseconds it will happen. The spread will happen in microseconds. Is this clear? Now, here, if you understand one point, if I go back to, you know, say 120 amperes, I divide this 120 amperes, one single piece of thyristor into six pieces, six parallel connected devices. So each device can withstand 20 ampere, 20 ampere, 20 ampere, 20 ampere, 20 ampere, 20 ampere. 20 ampere. Okay, each path can withstand 20 ampere. But the moment it is triggered, entire 30 amperes will, at the beginning, will be crowded at the gate, gate side of the thyristor. Entire 30 amperes is crowded through this part. This can actually withstand 20 ampere, but it is flowing how much? 30 ampere, instantly 30, the moment it is triggered, instantly 30 ampere will rush through this. So this part will be damaged, means this section will be damaged. Why this section will be damaged? The section which is near to the gate, the SCR section which is near to the gate will have local hot spots. That's why it is called as local. The local means what? They are nearer to the gate. Near the nearer side of the gate, hot spots will be there because current is more obviously it will be heated up. It will be heated up. Hence, they are called as local hot spots. Not throughout this. The heat will not be throughout this. 
heat is localized heating that localized heating may damage this part now to overcome this what we will do we will increase the current anode current will not be just like this rather it will be smoother like this okay maybe maybe you know you can have a ramp like this then like this okay it may have some time if this is the case then let's see what will happen suppose the moment it is fired the moment it is fired 30 ampere should flow but that 30 ampere is flowing slowly it's not steeply increasing it's not suddenly increasing it's slowly increasing like this some microseconds it's all microseconds slowly means don't think that minutes and hours and seconds it's not even a milliseconds it's a microseconds okay so at the beginning this much amount of current is flowing maybe in one microsecond this much amount of current is flowing okay so in the first one microsecond current flowing through this is not 30 it is less than 30 maybe 10 ampere maybe 10 ampere so this 10 ampere current some part of current will be triggering this by the time the current spreading the rate of current spread it is spreading and current is increasing current value also increasing because look at the shape anode current is not 30 ampere suddenly anode current is slowly increasing and spreading by the time it is increasing spreading is started spreading is started it's not crowded all together through this it is slowly spreading that's what called as current spread so by having this smoother change in currents that's what di by dt change in current with respect to change in time that's what di by dt also matters okay di by dt of an ser depends on how fast is a current spread the device may have the device current may spread much quicker if it is spreading much quicker it's all right okay it's all right as in you can have suddenly you know uh, the moment it is fired the moment it is fired entire all these parts all these parts are equally triggered just because of this gate pulse then definitely uh, 30 ampere whatever 30 ampere is there immediately you know 5 here 5 here 5 here 5 here 5 here will start flowing in that case no issue will be there but these SERs will have this current spread constant because we have gate at one side. So on the uh, side near to the SER uh, side which is nearer to the gate will be turned on first. That portion will be crowded. Hence local hotspots will be created if you don't uh, restrict the current to raise slowly. Okay, That is concept of DABDT. Okay, That's why should not have a sudden change you should have a smooth change clear with this i explained too much yes which is important important to know because most of you are not aware that's why i explained this too much uh, that's it for this lecture i think you like this lecture if you want more lectures if you want full courses you can go to the description link where you can get the you can buy the full courses just for thousand rupees you can buy the courses that's it for this lesson and if you're new to the channel ring the bell Subscribe to the channel so that you will never miss any update. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.